Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in the tiny house having my coffee. And it rained all night last night. It's been raining all morning. And you know what that means? It's going to be a good day for me to look for mushrooms. But, I don't know. I think I might cook something interesting. Maybe. There's a little break in the rain. Yeah, they've been out in it. So, oh, these dragers are starting to kind of incorporate with this flock. I made them a bunch of scrambled eggs. So I'm just going to put them out here and there. I've already put some in this pen. Very good, girls. Yeah, look at that Easter egg. Oh, her back is terrible. Yep, they are all kind of free-ranging together now. But these girls always go back up into their own coop. Yep, that's another one he was kind of getting to. Look at that wet, wet rooster. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Come on, Mama. You can get some. Good girl. Where's the rest of the chickens? Here, chick, chick, chick. Come on, chickens! <laughs> Here they come. Here, chick, chick, chick. Beauty and Patsy. <laughs> Here you go, girls. Yeah, everybody else is going to come. There's been a little bit of squabbling, but not too much. There you go, girls. Pretty chickens. Oh, here comes another Easter egg. -er. That's Patsy. Oh, see, look at that. <laughs> here, you can have some over here, ladies. A wet hen. <laughs> You're welcome. Here's some for you, too. Hey, Mama, I'm going to keep trying to give you some because I know those chickens like to chase you away. There you go, girls. That's all. Here, I'll leave this out here so you can pack the rest of it right out of that tray. I think they're all here now. One, two, three, four. Oh, Roxy's not here. She might be in the nesting box. I don't know. She's missing out. Oh, poor, poor Roxy. Yep, that's where she is. Laying me an egg like a good girl. Whoa, look at that. It is a green egg all the way out here. So you know what that means? One of the Easter eggers got out here, laid an egg because she couldn't figure it out. Something came out here and ate it. Oh, my Lord. Girls, you got to find your nesting box. I just broke it up and fed it to them. They'll eat it. Oh, that kind of sucks in a way because what am I supposed to do if an Easter egg comes out here and just lays an egg wherever? Huh. Looky, looky, looky. Look at all that black fungus slash wood ear. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this stick back to the house. Cool. Look at all these other ones. I had found these previously and I just brought them over here. Now, there is an absolute ton on these. They keep growing back and growing back all over the place. Yeah, I'm going to have a ton of them. I don't know if I'm going to harvest them today or maybe tomorrow. Just see if they get bigger. Ooh, there's some really nice ones over here. Right here. Yeah, I think I'm going to let them go for another day, see if they get any bigger, and then take them all off and dehydrate them. Oh my gosh, there's three in here. This is Mama and Patsy's pen. I thought that was Roxy, but it is not Roxy. That is a rooster. Look at that. It appears as though he got out through there, so yeah, I need to fix that again. But I need to wrangle me a rooster and get him in the right pen. Here we go. Oh, I know. I know, fella. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dude, seriously? You don't. I know you want some hands so freaking bad. But no, we gotta put you back in there with the boys. 
Come on, Rocky Two. I am so sorry. I know this is uncomfortable, but we're gonna get you up in the right place. Oh my gosh, hold on. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking hilarious. All right, all the gentlemen are <laughs> put up for the night. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, plus a rooster. Yeah, they're all up in here. I already checked the Easter eggers. They're, they're golden, so I guess I can call it a night. Oh, my gosh. Drama on the chicken front. But it's okay. You know, I don't know what happened with that because when I went to town and I did go to town today, uh, the puppies were inside. Oh, and uh, they cut into it. They pulled one of the drawers out, got a, a thing of twine, and just scattered it all over the place. They got up. They just tore some stuff up. But I didn't want them to be out, you know, because I know that I, I, I can't contain them. I just can't contain my own dogs. But, um... So, I don't think it was my dogs that pushed through that little place in the fence. I don't know if one of the roosters could have done it. Maybe. I'm not so sure. But it just seemed like Rocky too just wanted to be around hens. I mean, it's just, it's just nature. It's biology. You know, the male species wants to be with the female species with very few exceptions in between uh, with regards to chickens anyhow. Um... I don't know if there are exceptions to that rule with chickens, but he just wanted to be around his hens. And he was up in there, and he was, like, clucking and cooing at them, and he just seemed so happy, and I felt so bad having to grab him. But my confidence with grabbing chickens and getting them is getting better. I'm getting better at it. You know, I don't like to hold them upside down, like I said before. Um, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? Anyhow, I didn't cook anything interesting. Sorry. But, uh, it's been a good day. I got into town. I got some provisions and, uh, that's all there is to it. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. You can now join me on Rumble where I talk about current events, politics, and other thoughts on weighty subjects. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.